Um, gonna have fish and chips now. That's gonna upset some people. Cleethorpe's pale ale. They were that cheap, I thought, sod it. I'm getting uh, curry sauce as well. It's time for my rant. rant of the day. If you go on YouTube and search for Grimsby videos, it's like it's just full of poverty porn. It's like, oh, look at all these boarded up shops. Look at all these unfortunate people. And then everyone complains and moans and has a rant because that's what we like, really. But a lot of people like to be sort of negative about stuff. And I've done a couple of videos like that in the past, and I've sworn not to never do them again. I just want to be positive. So I thought it's a beautiful sunny day. I've just come, and I'll I'll have a look round, and I'm only going to find nice things in Grimsby. I want to be positive about it, and uh, we'll have a look round. I think markets on today. I've just been to the docks. And there's a beautiful column, it looked like a Victorian tower or something there. You can't get anywhere near it though. And unfortunately you can't go in. It's all closed. Closed to the public, you need a pass. I said to a woman that was security guard, I said, uh, I says, can I, I wanted to do a vlog, is there anywhere I can go in and have a look? And she goes, oh no, you need, you need to get written permission. And, that, and they only normally give it to BBC or Channel 4. And I thought, charming. <laughs> They can shove it. You can shove your BBC in your Channel 4. Anyway, so, yeah. I need to ask you a favour as well. I need to ask you two favours before we look around Grimsby. The first one is, if you're not subscribed, could you please subscribe? Or could you check your subscription? I saw on uh, another channel the other day, somebody was told, there's a lot of people, and people have sent in comments, that they think they're subscribed to my videos, and they find out that they're not. And I think there's a bit of a thing on YouTube with this happening at the moment. So can you check you're subscribed? If you're not already subscribed, please subscribe. Because it, I want to get to 50,000. <laughs> right? It's just vanity. And can you like the video and uh, click that bell, please? Really, really appreciate that. It helps me a lot. The second favour is... Well, it's not a favour. I want to... I just want to... I'm just eating my peanuts. My VI peanuts. Technically, it's a sponsored video. They're sponsoring this video, but it's not like a normal sponsorship because they're my friends. So it's Nina and Eugene that own this company. And last year, they paid for me and Helen to go to Oktoberfest, which was a dream of mine. And if you've not seen that video, as Oktoberfest video, in my opinion, it's our best video. any rides ever, but when I've had beer, I want to go on that. You know when I've had a drink, I don't care. <laughs> We're doing it for Barnsley. I don't, I don't feel good. I'm not in a good situation right now. So, the when they sponsored that video they gave us a discount code for all my uh for all my subscribers and viewers and everything and i just want to sort of reiterate that that uh discount code 20 percent off that still applies i'll flush it on screen james 20. just give them some love support them but you you benefit from it because the bloody peanuts are fantastic i like these ones i've got another bag here these are to die for. They're like coffee beans coated in dark chocolate. Oh my God, they're my favorite. These are second favorite. I also like the cheese cheese and onion, but they do a mixed bag. Have a look on the website and just give them some love and I'll tell you why. This is exciting. The sponsoring is again on a much bigger scale and this video is going to be a bit later on in the year. It's gonna be amazing. We're doing stuff that nobody's done, and I'm right excited about it. So, yeah, watch this space for that. So, please keep supporting them. I know a lot of you guys have tried them and bought stuff from them, uh, and then they'll sponsor us more. <laughs> it's a win win, isn't it? You'll get some amazing, fantastic VIP nuts, and 
I get more to do more content, so which you enjoy, which you watch, hopefully. Right, let's go and have a look around Grimsby. So first things first, I've seen what looks like a nice building down here. We'll go and have a look and see what it is. I've got to apologise as well for my voice because I've still got the old cold going on. Looks interesting, I wonder what that is. We'll go inside a bit, swimming baths or something. So it's the town hall. A rather grand sort of art deco light fitting. I wonder if we can go in, we'll go and have a look. Is this where the treasure's kept in here? <laughs> Well, thanks anyway. No I'll, I'll have a right. wander around. Do I get out this way? Or? Yeah, you can do, mate. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, mate. Thank All you very right. much. Cheers. Bye bye. Yeah. Oh, I've seen something else beautiful. Well, he was a, a lovely chap, and he couldn't let me go upstairs because they're doing election stuff or something, he said. I don't know whether they were fibbing, but he seemed a nice chap. I think he was genuine. Well there, we've, we've had a good start there, haven't we? We've had a beautiful old building with some Art Deco features and a lovely staircase. We've had a lovely sculpture. And now we're going to head into town. We're going to have a look at market because it's market day today as well. Happy days, this is good, isn't it? I think I'll be calling in there later for a beer. Lots of regeneration going on here. They're planting some lovely plants, look. That's a grand building. And across there, that's nice. It's so nice. I think the, the secret is to always look up when you're in town centres. Nice pigeons. Do you think that's the market? Well, it says market town, top town market. That must be it. There's a lot of empty stalls. This is the uh, what the council have done to our town. Is it? So they, you've got they own the fresh new, they own fresh new place. Right, and is that and taken? The market, and the market, and they've just killed it off. This is the shopping centre in Grimsby. That looks an old building, doesn't it? Tivoli Tavern. I bet that's the oldest pub in town. I'll look that up. Anyway, I've just seen peeking over the rooftops here uh, what looks like a lovely church spire. So let's go and have a look. Oh, and I see a statue as well. Now that's a lovely church. I'm going to go in. That looks Norman. And what's this statue? It's obviously a fisherman, isn't it? Sort of referring to the the fishing heritage of the town. And look at this here, I found a bit of beauty. Can you see how the, there's like water and then it's reflecting in the sun? Which is quite appropriate as it's a fisherman. It's a minster, Grimsby minster.
That was Grimsby Minster, and what have we learned? Well, it's 900 years old. And another thing I've learned is where Grimsby gets its name from. Now, there was a, a the story, allegedly, I can't remember if it were Viking or Norse, is that the same thing? There was a, a Norse god called Grim, and B, that means village. That's like a Norse word for village, so it's Grimsby. So that's where it gets its name from. How about that? Interesting. There's a lovely archway here. Funny place really, that uh, shopping centre, because it was a big place and it had got all your main, you know, your big name shops in. It was very quiet. I don't know why that would be, because it's a Friday afternoon, so it should be busy. Maybe it's just the whole area, sort of, there's not a lot of money around for people to go shopping. Anyway, I'm walking down the river. Look at this, it's beautiful. I'm going to cross a bridge, apparently just here, and then there's a uh, heritage centre, a fishing heritage centre. So I'm going to have a look at that. I think this is it. It's got to be, because there's a picture of a fisherman up there. And somebody said it was near Sainsbury's, which is there. So we're going. £8.50. Oh, we we'll have to go on the outdoors of open. There's actually a lot of smell here, which is quite good. Oh God, that scared life out of me, that. I'm in south to southeast, course five, facing the course six, to gale, course eight. Occasional rain, moderate visibility. These uh, dummies they use, they're quite disturbing. It's enough to be a nightmare, isn't it? I think that's decided what I'm having for tea. I enjoyed that in there, it was quite good. I think it's aimed for like school trips and stuff, but it was eight quid, it weren't too bad. And uh, it was one of those sort of like experiences. So I'm going to head back to the van and go to another location. I'm sure there's somewhere else to go. I'm not quite ready for my fish and chips yet. But just imagine how nice they're going to be in Grimsby. They'll be the best. They'll be the best fish and chips, won't they, obviously? Because they'll be so fresh.
so I'm heading towards the docks because I'm going to do some sitting on the dock of the bay well even better there's a brewery so I'm going to have a look I'm just going over the railway train and the train's coming He didn't even wave to me. Oh, do he's boop boop. Right, yeah, there's a brewery called Doc's Brewery. So we're gonna head down there. Yeah, it's just down here, not right. Doc's beers. Fridays in the sun, although it's bloody freezing. So I've got half of Cleethorpe's Pale Ale. Only half because I'm driving. It's nice in here. I think I'll get a, a few cans to take home with me. It was alright in there, quite liked it. And look, I've got uh, three cans back in the van. I'll show you beers I've got from that place. I just got three. I've got Ducks Fest 2024 Hellas beer. Quite like a Hellas beer. That's 5.1%. I've got Knuckle Down, a New England IPA. I like New England IPAs. They're sort of a little bit sweet, cloudy. And then I've got that. Naughty. Because I'm naughty. And that's a, a sour cherry IPA. One of my favourite beers is called Salty Kiss, and that's a, a gauze beer, which is like a, a sour beer. Uh, when we were in, where were we the other day? In Ely, and Helen got me that pink beer. That's what that was supposed to be, although I didn't quite like that one. But I'll try these later on. These can go in the fridge. And uh, I'll have them when I get back to Barnsley because I need to, I'll have them as I'm editing this video. Right, it's time for my rant. Rant of the day about Grimsby. It might be a bit divisive, but I don't mean it's a bit, it's all love, this comes from love. But I'm fed up with seeing videos with people just going around filming drunks and homeless people and boarded up shops and, and then everyone comes in comments. Oh, look at that, it's a right dump, what a dump. Well, if you think that, do something about it. Let's start supporting places and try and be positive because we can all start whinging about every week, can't we? Let's be positive. Honest to God, poverty porn, YouTube is absolutely full of it. So I'm calling on everybody to try and be positive. And it helps everybody. You know, we know that Grimsby's... It's, it's having a tough time, it's having a really tough time and, and part of that, it's not the people's fault. They don't need people just watching videos on YouTube saying, oh, it's straight shit. That's not helping anybody. The town needs regenerating and what we need is we need decent people in charge. Not these people that are only obsessed about money, not these council leaders on £190,000 a year. So that's me rant. That's me rant of the day. I'm... Gonna have fish and chips now. That's gonna upset some people. People keep needing to tell me, oh, you're gonna have a heart attack. I don't have fish and chips every day. Once a week I have fish and chips. Sometimes I film it. And that's what I'm doing now. Right. <laughs> so if you don't like watching me eat fish and chips, you can turn it off now. So, loads of you do like it. And, uh, so you're going to watch. I'm going to that chip shop where it's like cheapest fish and chips in the UK. Or it was, apparently. I don't know if it's slow. It's only around the corner. It used to be like £3. See, that's something good, isn't it? That's really good about Grimsby. There's a lot of people that support local people. There's a lot of that going on. So, you know, let's focus on stuff like that.
him in the back of the van, parked on just right corner from chip shop. I can't believe how cheap that is. These must be, without any doubt, the cheapest fish and chips in the UK. They were that cheap, I thought, sod it. I'm getting uh, curry sauce as well. Let me show you as it's come. Fish, chips and mushy peas, three pound, ladies and gentlemen, three quid. And the fish is haddock, I can't believe it. I remember, it brought it back to me when I was in there, I remember seeing her dad on TV, because the girl that served me, it's a, it's a family business. She says, my dad will only serve haddock. She says, and it's dead fresh. Oh, I'm so hungry. So, I've got two chips here. <laughs> And the chips are good. It's like I'm looking at it and I'm thinking, it's not going to be nice. This. I'll try not to get pee on my shirt this time. If you watched when I had them last week, I got pee down my shirt. Peas are nice. Peas are really nice. You wouldn't warrant it, would you? Disappointed, they didn't seem to have any dandelion and burdock. So we're a diet coat. Them peas are up there. Let's try some curry sauce now. Three pound. I mean, I'm not a massive curry sauce fan, so I don't know how to compare, but it tastes nice enough to me, though. Right. Time for the fish. Oh, it's skin on. A lot of people don't like that, but it doesn't bother me too much. It's a perfectly acceptable piece of haddock. I mean, fair play to him. They ain't making a lot of money there. They're doing a service, aren't they? I've got kids playing outside, man. They'll start playing the uh, Wally outside at them. The chips are quite good because there's quite a few of them. You know, like crunchy bits. I like that. If you live down here, why would you not have fish and chips from there on a Friday night? For three quid. I mean, the fish is very small, but it's nicer than some. That I've paid three, four times as much for. It's not the best fish and chips I've ever had. But how do you score something like this? Because it really is an absolute bargain. And would I have them again? Yeah, of course I would. There'll be people in that girl, there'll be people around here that go there every week. Because you can't cook a meal for cheaper than that. Well, possibly, but there's no point when you can get that. So what do you lot think? Have you had them, fish and chips? Would you have them? If you've got a family of three or four and you want a game of fish and chips on a Friday night, you know, that's great value. I would like a kid, me, that won't watch me. Oh, I'll have curry sauce, I'll have pop. I'm going to get a buttered bread cake as well, but I thought, no, that's just being greedy. And we're going to do a rate my takeaway. We could have had battered sausage, pie. Whew. 
I'm stuffed. I don't know why I get curry sauce. I just wanted to try it because I know a lot of you like it. And it was nice, but I don't particularly like it with fish and chips. I've just left my skin. Spot on. £3. £3. I paid £4.80 because I had the other bits as well. Ice cream vans here. I might get something sweet now. I won't get a Cornetto. I wonder if ice cream vans are as cheap as chip shop. <laughs> That'd be wrong, wouldn't it? I could eat a feast. Well, that was good value. I enjoyed it. It was it was good. It was nice fish and chips. I thought it were gonna be I thought they were gonna be terrible. They weren't terrible. They weren't average. They were a bit above average. They were good. But the three pound makes it an excellent deal. So fair play to them for that because they're doing a lot for the community there. And you can tell because of the big queues. Because people haven't got a lot of money around here. So anyway, that's another video for you. Hope it was alright. What's your thoughts on Grimsby? What can we do about Grimsby? Where's another place that I can go to that's got a bit of a reputation where I can go and find the nice things and the positives? I've got to learn my craft with this a little bit, haven't I? You know, this has been a bit... I've just turned up. I've not really had much time to plan it. I've got two really big videos going on at the moment, which are taking loads of editing. And they're hopefully going to be released next week. So there you go. That's the end of this video. <laughs> and I need to head back to back. You know, when you've had fish and chips, I'm always tired then. I'll see you in the next video. I can't wait. Because I've got something big coming up.